Wolfpack, thank you very much for tuning in for this episode of Companies Respond. In this episode, we are discussing the MSR Zoic two-person tent, which I recently had a test night episode with. If you watched that episode, you saw that the tent failed miserably in terms of waterproofness. There was leaks from everywhere and the tent was full of water. Now, since that point in time, since that episode, I have heard from the company, and I wanna share with you all the information that I have now, because there is quite a bit to go over. So with the Zoic 2 tent that I have, that is the latest version from MSR, and it features the Extreme Shield proprietary method of making the tent waterproof. To put it simply, this is a manufacturing process which MSR has come up with to make a tent not only waterproof, but to make it last a longer period of time. It doesn't feature any sort of seam tape or anything like that, which has a tendency to age and wear over time and break down. The overall manufacturing process of this Extreme Shield involves the incorporation of poly cotton threads. And it is with these threads, they get wet, they expand, and in theory, it's supposed to make the tent waterproof. As the threads swell, it prevents moisture from ingressing inside of the fly, making its way to the body. From what I've read, the Extreme Shield technology was in development for roughly 10 years, and it is far more complicated than what I'm stating here. And with that being said, this is what happened, and this is what I've learned through my experiences so far with this tent and with this technology. I took the tent out to see how well it would handle moisture. Not only waterproofness, but in terms of condensation, ventilation, moisture control, and so on. So I set the tent up, rain began to fall, and unfortunately, throughout this rain event, the tent failed miserably and leaked from numerous locations. In fact, there were over 30 leaking points that I counted, and I'm sure there were plenty more, which I didn't. There was water absolutely everywhere. It was coming in from everywhere. It was coming through the fly. It was on the walls. It had dripped down onto the body. It was all over the floor. And in fact, everyone, that is the second worst leaking tent I've ever experienced. The worst leaking tent of all time happens to be the River Country tent. That thing is a serious piece of junk, unless they fix things, but who knows. I have personally tested and reviewed over 50 tents on the channel since I began it, and with the MSR Zoic 2, that is the second worst leaking tent. The leaking was so bad with this tent that I bailed for the night, and I went home because everything inside of the tent was soaking wet. There was water coming in from everywhere, and it wasn't a shelter that I could safely sleep in because of the amount of water that was coming in and also the cool temperatures. It was at this point that I contacted the media company. This is the company that I got the tent from to review, honestly review. And through them, I was able to directly speak with MSR and the development team. I was able to ask questions, get answers, and I was able to understand what exactly the failures were with this tent and also with the technology as a whole. I also learned of the issues that the Extreme Shield has faced since it was launched and introduced to the market. Speaking of which, if you go back in time and you read reviews for Extreme Shield products when they were introduced, most reviews spoke of leaking in regards to these products. There were many reports of leaking. There was a recall. And with that recall, MSR would either seam seal the tent themselves and send it back to you, or they would send the individual who purchased the tent some seam sealer so they can seam seal it. Once the recall was done, MSR began seam sealing the tent themselves. And every single tent that is shipped out is supposed to be seam sealed. And that brings us up to now. The tent that I received was not seam sealed by MSR. Somehow it made it through the cracks. And what I received was just like the original product. Just as those original products had issues, so did the one that I received. And that's why it performed so poorly. The simple explanation for what took place is this. The method involving the seams, which swelled to prevent leaking through the fly, didn't work out as the company intended. And the company now seam seals their tents. They don't feature seam tape, but they are seam sealed. And all of this I find very interesting. And through the media company that I'm in contact with, I was able to ask MSR some questions. My very first question was to confirm the Extreme Shield coated tents are now seam sealed by MSR, but they aren't seam taped. Seam tape degrades quickly with the end result being a tent that is useless and is tossed into a landfill. We factory seam seal with Gear Aid Seam Grip FX. We also include a bottle of the Seam Grip FX with each tent so the customer can refresh key seams after many nights of use. So if the tent begins to leak, you have that Seam Grip, 
you can fix it. My next question was this, and this is a pretty blunt question. I'm sure that there will be viewers asking why this is being done. Initially, the seam sealing wasn't done with the Extreme Shield coated tents. Is there a problem with the technology, the manufacturing process, or is there something else going on? I remember reading about the Extreme Shield coated products when they hit the market, and that seam taping wasn't required, it wasn't needed, because the technology materials and the manufacturing process was all put together to prevent leaking on its own. They responded and said, we use a water resistant thread that swells when it gets wet to seal the seams. We found the approach was not robust enough in all situations and decided to apply Seam Grip FX seam sealer to all tents with the Extreme Shield. The next question that I had involved seam tape. Are there any plans for seam taping to be done with the company in the future? And they said that they continue searching for seam tape that can be applied to lightweight fabrics without failing prematurely. So far, we have not been able to find any suitable seam tape that produces long-lasting seamed seals. So there you have it, everyone. That is straight from MSR. And I have to be honest, I'm very impressed with their response to this entire matter. I'm also impressed with the media company who worked very diligently with not only me, but with MSR to get this information to you all. For them to be as upfront and honest about their technology and the fact that it didn't work out the way that they intended, I like that. I like that. I mean, when people make mistakes, when companies make mistakes, it's best to own it, and they are. And I do respect that. One thing that I found so interesting is that I've received roughly two dozen emails from viewers, all sharing their experiences with the MSR Extreme, Extreme Shield coated tents. 98% of those experiences were very positive. The 2% had issues, but had ultimately had their issues solved by MSR. There wasn't a single report of anyone having any long-term issues that weren't ultimately taken care of. And again, that is impressive. I don't think I've ever received so many emails about a product failure such as this, like this. MSR does make very good products and they do have a very good following in terms of users. The plan from here is pretty simple. I am going to send back the Zoic 2 that I received, and in a few months, I should receive a replacement. Right now, they're sold out, so that's that. I will await the replacement. I will test it out just as thoroughly as I did with the original. I'll start from scratch with my testing. We will put it through its paces. We will see how well it performs. Hopefully, there will not be any issues. Again, I've heard from so many people with the Zoic 2, the Zoic 1, and so on, and they've had no issues with their tents for years once they seam sealed it or had MSR seam seal it or the fact that MSR seam sealed it from the factory. I will get in the replacement, start my testing all over again, and I will share it with you all every single step of the way. And for now, everyone, that's pretty much it. I want to thank MSR for their honesty. I appreciate them willing to answer questions and being so forthright, forthcoming with all of my viewers. I do appreciate that big time. Now I want to hear from you all. Make sure to comment down below and share your thoughts about these developments, about the MSR Zoic 2. What are your thoughts about the Extreme Shield technology? Obviously, it didn't quite work out the way that MSR wanted, but it sounds like they did come up with a solution to make and produce very good quality tents based upon the feedback that I've received from you all. Now, of course, I will do my own testing and we'll see how it goes. This has been a very complicated matter to cover because there's so many facets to this story. I mean, those products were released. They leaked. There was a recall. The company started seam sealing tents. Yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot to it. There's a lot out there. And it's interesting to hear from all of the viewers because you can see every single stage of this. Like for an example, some people received a notice with their tent saying, hey, you should seam seal this before you use it. And then again, some people did not receive that note. I did not receive a note inside of my tent saying that it needed to be seam sealed. But I had read online that you should seam seal it whenever you have some leaks. It seems to be different for everyone and you can see how everything has progressed over time. No matter what, everyone, I will continue to review every single product with an agenda-free approach. I will share the good, the bad, and that is it. The Outdoor Gear Review is not about making sales. It's not about money. It's about sharing my thoughts, my experiences with you all so you can make your best decision, and that is it. Make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel quite a bit. Take care, strength and honor. I will see you all around. Bye, everybody. Good luck, MSR. <laughs> good luck.